Hello everybody and welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green. I am your commentator, Wyatt Olinger. Now, today we're here in Pewter City, and as you can see, it's uh, quite pewtery. Before I want to do anything, I want to buy a couple more potions, just in case Brock gives us some trouble. Wait, no, 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 I don't need any more. Is there anything else I can get you? Please come again. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. In the last episode, we got through Viridian Forest, and we now have a new member of the team. Say hello to Pikachu. We originally caught her at level 3, but I have since got her up to level 10. She knows Thundershock, Growl, Tail Whip, and Thunder Wave. And of course, we ever have our ever-so-classic Bulbasaur, who currently has Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip. So yeah, that's gonna be great. Now, first order of business, we're gonna head to the Pewter City Gym. It's right over here. Uh, what does this say? Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Brock. The rock-solid Pokemon trainer. Yeah, this gym is full of rock and ground types. That's not gonna be too good for Pikachu, so... We're gonna have Bulbasaur in here. Bulbasaur is gonna annihilate this gym for sure. And as you see here, Pewter City Pokemon Trainer, Leader Brock. Winning trainer is Simon. Apparently Simon beat this gym already. How he managed to beat it with only a Pidgey and a Charmander is beyond me. Anyways, before we take on Brock, we have to take on this random kid in front of him. Stop right there, kid! You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock! Wanna run that by me again? Buddy old pal, old friend old chum, Camper Liam. And of course he's gonna start off with a Geodude. I mean, Geodude, really? <laughs> it's just a pebble with arms. No, I'm, wait, no, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna put Vine Whip in the front. Go start to use Vine Whip. And look, it kills Geodude instantly. Isn't that nice? I'm sorry, getting 183 XP and is already level 12. Ooh, Bulbasaur, you animal. And he's gonna use Sandshrew. Huh, Sandshrew, that's a cool Pokemon. Unfortunately, Sandshrew is not a rock type, even though it's in a rock type gym, so what it's doing here, I'll never know. Oh! Super effective, but still lives, because Sandshrew's only a ground type. Eh, I guess we can just finish off with Tackle or whatever. Haha, <laughs> bye bye, Sandshrew. Connecting experience. That's enough to almost get Bulbasaur to level 13, but not quite. Darn! Light years is a time, it measures distance! And I got 220 for winning. Sweet. Now, before I take on Brock, I'm gonna restore Bulbasaur's PP for fine with. Okay, back in business. So we're about to take on our first gym leader of this playthrough. And this is what we're going in with. A Bulbasaur at level 12 and a Pikachu at level 10. Although, Pikachu is not going to participate in this battle, because really, Pikachu doesn't have any moves that can easily deal with a Geodude, for that matter. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do this. So, you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock-hard willpower is evident, even in my Pokémon. My Pokémon are all rock-hard, and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fuhahaha! <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? Jeez, what is this? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Man, in the show, Brock was like this very kind and wholesome breeder who always flirted with women, but no, not this Brock. This Brock is just so rock hard all the time. What? Like, who are you, and what have you done with Brock? Jeez. And of course he's gonna throw out a Geodude, as if we haven't battled one already. Alright. Vine Whip. That should get rid of the Geodude instantly. Yep. We never get this kind of momentum from choosing Charmander. 20 XP. And look at that, Bulbasaur is officially a teenager now. Alright, Brock is gonna use Onix. Oh, nah, I'll just keep Bulbasaur out. Now, Onyx is a big old rock snake, but here's the thing. Onyx is four times weak to grass, so watch what happens when I use Vine Whip on it. Ooh, oh, he missed. 
fist is bind. Ha, <laughs> lol. Oh, look at that. Four times a week to grass, it kills you. That was... <laughs> you call yourself a gym leader. That was such an easy battle. We defeated leader Brock. I, I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. We got the Boulder Badge! Woohoo! Amigo, let's go! Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. And I got, woo! That's a lot of good money right there. Wait, take this with you. We received TM39 from Brock. Oh yeah, TMs teach moves to your Pokemon instantly. Alright, using a TM teaches the move that contains... TMs, yeah. So when you... TM39 contains Rock too. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Well, thanks Brock. I'm out of here. Whew. And just like that, we officially have... The first of eight badges, baby. On my way to stardom already. Okay. First, I'm gonna go heal up. Again. It's my muscle memory, so don't dog on me for it. Hello! Yes, it is I. I just got back from healing. And we're all, I guess we're all done here in Pewter City. Now let's just continue on our merry way. Actually, I want to get this first. Oh, Wyatt. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. All right, <gasps> the running shoes. It's nice. Wanna know what the good thing about the running shoes is? I'm gonna tell you. The running shoes are really fast. Cause I guess it's physically impossible to run without them, who knows. Dear White, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Always cheer on from mom. So now that we have them, we can either walk at this speed or run at this speed. I think it's a safe bet that I'll be running around everywhere. Before I go on to Route 3, however, I want to check this place out. Yes, yes, it'll be $50 for a child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Uh, I'm 21, but thank you anyway. Who's this? Aerodactyl Fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. Okay, cool. What's this one? Kabutops Fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. Okay. That's pretty cool, I, I guess. No! Okay, what is this? Ooh, spaceship. Hmm. Now, what's this one? A meteor that fell on Mount Moon is thought to be a moonstone. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. Well, what was wrong with watching it in black and white? I don't know. This is a... Wow, this is a very small spaceship. Space shuttle. <laughs> yeah. Space shuttle. <laughs> it looks more like a toy! I think it's practically a toy spaceship. <laughs> Why? What's the point of opening a museum if you're just gonna display a bunch of toys everywhere? <laughs> That's a Toys R Us right there. <laughs> but you know what this museum isn't? It's not me, mysterious museum there, ladies and lasses. <laughs> uh, remember Mr. Macabre's Mysterious Museum? Yeah. It was a good show, wasn't it? Of course, it's... It's been over for almost two years now. I'm healing again? Wait, I don't need to heal again. I just... <sighs> Dang it, my muscle memory gets the better of me again. Anyways, we've checked out the museum, so let's head on over to Route 3. I forgot how to count. Ah! Because there's a ton of trainers on Route 3, and that'll be good experience for Pikachu. See? Look at all them trainers. What's this? Excuse me! You looked at me, didn't you? What? No! I was like 10 spaces away. Alright, last Janus. Sent out a Pidgey. Oh, it's only level 9, though. There's no way it's gonna survive the wrath of my Pikachu's Thundershock. Oh, boy. 
Oh, wow. Hey, how dare you still live? Oh, <laughs> that's what you get for tackling me, you stupid bird. Don't worry, the battles will get better later in this series. So let me assure you of that. It's super effective. Just like that, Pidgey is down for the count. Group 5 XP. Most chance is about to use another Pidgey. Mm. Alright, Pidgey number 2. Pikachu is just going to use Thundershot. These battles are really boring. But now I bet you're wondering, what am I going to catch for the rest of my team? Well, I'm going to have... I already have a Bulbasaur and a Pikachu, so obviously I'm going to use them. And, you know, Bulbasaur is a grass type. But I also want to get a fire type and a water type, because I like to have all three starter types on my team. And for other Pokemon I want on my team, I've decided on a couple, but I'm, I'm going to keep them a surprise. What? Hey, you! what are you talking about? You started it. All right, here's the next guy. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Oh, have you now? <laughs> really? Bug catcher? I, I don't think I battled a Colton in Viridian Forest. Eh, whatever. Pikachu, go all out. Er, Pikachu, I'm just using Pikachu on all these battles. Honestly, it makes me feel like, uh, makes me feel like Ash right now, because I'm just using Pikachu on everybody. <laughs> you know, I just, I just was thinking and realized. I have both a Pikachu and a Bulbasaur. Those are both Pokemon that Ash has used at some point, so am I basically Ash right now? Except I don't have a Charmander or a Squirtle. Although, I could just borrow Simon's GBA. And trade for them, but what's the fun in doing that? <gasps> quick attack! Yes. All right. For quick attack. Yes. Quick attack. Finally, Pikachu will have another damaging move. That's good. No, we're just gonna get rid of Growl. I don't think I've ever used it even once. Pikachu forgot Growl, and Pikachu learned Quick Attack. Perfect. Bugcatcher is about to use Wheel. Uh, no. I'm sure Pikachu can last without getting poisoned at this, at this rate. Pikachu used Thundershock. And Weedle's gonna use Poison Sting. wonder if that'll poison him. Oh! Or her, I meant. And guess what? Pikachu didn't get poisoned. Lol scrub. Weedle is down for the count. Pikachu gained 111 XP. Cat another Caterpie? Really? Well, at least this is his last one. And now I'm a level higher, so I'll have more luck with this Caterpie than I did the last one. Caterpie's just gonna tackle me. How rude. He's gonna use Thundershock. And the Caterpie's gonna use Tackle again. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get for tackling me, you stupid worm. Oh no. Uh, it's a good thing I bought some of these, right? Whew. That's a relief. Caterpie... Does this Caterpie seriously know anything other than Tackle? Pikachu use Quick Attack. Wow, Quick Attack is so good already. Pikachu gained 112 XP, and we defeated Bugcatcher Colton. Nice. You beat me again! No, I did not. You are such a liar. Alright, now let's battle this guy. Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Um... Okay... Youngster Ben... <gasps> Ugh, how dare you not be Youngster Joey! Disgraceful. Quick attack. <laughs> Tackle me, yeah, whatever. This is the point in the game where Rattata actually is kinda strong. Oh no, oh no. Might wanna switch to Bulbasaur for this one, folks. Pikachu's gonna die at this rate. We're trying to use Tackle. Boom. I don't really give a flying hoot. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, use Vine Whip. Why don't you? Whoosh. Critical hit. Right. Right when I didn't need him. He's gain 66. Bulbasaur gain 66. Mr. Ben is about to use Ekans. Nah. I don't really want to switch to Pikachu. I don't want Pikachu getting poisoned. Ekans is Intimidate. Cuts Bulbasaur's attack. Oh no. And Vine Whip's not very effective, oh no! But you know, oh my, this is gonna take forever. 
Uh, whoo! That Ekans finally went down. That's what happens when you mess with my cabbage frog. I don't believe it! Believe it, brother. Are you using a Pokemon Center's PC for your storing your Pokemon? Each box can hold to 30 Pokemon. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I'm just gonna heal up Pikachu now. Because Pikachu is... Oh, I guess I need to heal both my mons. Oh, oh dear. They're almost dead. Alright, that should help. Alright, here's another bug person. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away! Oh my word. It's just bug catcher after bug catcher, you know? Bug catcher Greg. He's gonna use a Weedle. Really, a Weedle? Come on, where's the variety? Quick attack. Or at least poison thing. If Pikachu gets poisoned, I have antidotes, so it's all good. Man, I'm gonna have to use, use Thundershock and Quick Attack, aren't I? Oh, the inhumanity. Really? You're gonna string shot me? Guess what, Weedle? I have something for string shot users like you. Quick Attack. Yep. And this should get Pikachu to level 12, right? Hey, it did. Sweet. Alright, Bug Catcher Greg is about to use Cat- Oh, this is a long, long battle, so, uh, I'll just cut to the end of it. Whoo! I thought that battle was never gonna end. He had a Caterpie, a Weedle, a Metapod, and a Kakuna. If I had any Pokemon, I would've won. Yeah, if you had, like, a freaking Scyther or something, you probably would've won. But, you didn't. Now I'm gonna go heal up because Pikachu can only use Thundershock 13 more times before all the PP for that move is exhausted. And I, my apologies for visiting Nurse Joy so much. Huh. <gasps> oh, come on. Will you? Yes. A uh, hiccup right there. It's fine. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Yeah, these battles. Let me tell you, they are not pleasant. Yeah. But you know, by the time I have like a full team of six Pokemon and I have like all the badges, I'm gonna look back. I'm probably gonna say, hey, remember when we were on Route 3 t battling a bunch of bug trainers and lasses? No. My look you gave me, it's so intriguing! Well, how? My look is literally just a black line for an eye. You're making the same look, girl! What's up with that? Man, lasses just freak out over the smallest things. That's how they sent out Rattata. Go, okay, a battle of the rodents. Whose rodent is better? It's obviously mine. Because mine can... Because mine can electrocute things. That purple thing just tackles and bites. I mean, what good is a Rattata even for? Like... Like, if you use a Rattata on your team, but you're not Youngster Joey, then who are you, you disgraceful pig? Alright, Pikachu, just use Quick Attack, and down with the Rattata. Pikachu is showing her dominance that she is the better rodent. Alright, and then we're gonna use, oh, a female Nidoran. Okay, that should help. Niran has poison points, so I don't want Pikachu to get poisoned from using Quick Attack, so I guess we're gonna resort to Thundershock, I guess. Plus it's same type attack bonus, so it'll help a lot. You scratched me! You scratched me! How could you? Nidoran's just gonna use Growl. Yeah, Pikachu ain't scared of no growling. Pikachu, use Thundershock. Use Thundershock, you maniac. And down with the Nidoran. Pikachu getting under 26 XP, and we defeated last Sally. Be nice! Well, I'm sorry, was I the one who said, Ew, did you look at me? Uh, these lasses, I swear. Potion. Pikachu. There we go. Pikachu's with 20 points. Oh, huh, that was perfect, I guess. And if we come down here, we can battle this kid. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? What, what's wrong with you? What if, what if it's, it's the time I'm recording this. It's the middle of February. What are you doing wearing shorts in the winter? Like, why would you do that? Oh, Spiro. Hmm. That could be a bit 
more troublesome. But don't worry, I have the type advantage. If I were using Bulbasaur, he would have freaking died right now, but... Spiro's gonna use Growl. Guess what? I'm not scared. I ain't scared of no Spiro. Alright, and then Spiro goes down. Yeah, Spiro, what are you what you gonna do? We defeated youngster Calvin. Lost! 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 Ugh. And he says, I always wear shorts, even in the winter. That's my policy. Well, when you get pneumonia, don't come crying to me. Whee! Wow! There's another bug catcher. He's like, I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Just caught. Yeah, you're not gonna win this fight, pal. <sighs> he only had a Caterpie and a Metapod, but I, I, I didn't want to have to let you see that boring battle. And Pikachu grew to level 14. That's pretty good. Done like dinner. Seriously, who says done like dinner? I mean, come on. All right, now I'm just gonna. You know what? We're gonna use Bulbasaur against this next person. Because, you know, Bulbasaur needs to get in some action, too. I mean, he is our starter, after all. Eek! Did you touch me? What? How could I have touched you? I was like... I was like three three tiles away. What, do you think I can just extend my arms? You know how hard that is to do? Alright. Bulbasaur versus Jigglypuff. Wait, I mean, come on. It's literally just a, a pink basketball. You can do it, Bulbasaur. Here is Vine Whip. Oh boy, this could be a long battle. But don't worry, Bulbasaur knows just what to- Oh my gosh, are you seriously in love? Bulbasaur! And look, you disabled Vine Whip. Oh my word. Doesn't mean I can't use Leech Seed if Bulbasaur here- Bulbasaur used Leech Seed even though he's in love. Oh, I'm in love with that ball over there. I'm so- I want to take it out for dinner. Ugh, Bulbasaur, I'd rather you have that Jigglypuff for dinner. Ugh. Well, it is level 14, so I guess it's kind of strong. Since you disabled my Vine Whip, I guess I'm going to use Tackle. I'm in love with faux Jigglypuff, and I'm a normalized by love. Ugh, Bulbasaur, stop being in love. She's not even your type. She's pretty shallow. Good thing you... I have her leech seated, so yeah. She's pretty shallow. Bulbasaur, stop being in love. I'm immobilized by love. Bulbasaur, you are a cabbage frog, and that is literally just. That is literally just a mascot of some, some Japanese candy company. Like, what are you doing, man? <sighs> but thankfully, it'll be all good in the end. Ugh. <sighs> You know, if for the fact, if it, you know, if it weren't for Leech Seed, oh, now you use Tackle. As I was saying, if it weren't for Leech Seed, this Jigglypuff probably would have defeated Bulbasaur by now. 228 XP, and just like that, Bulbasaur is level 15. Way to go! He's old enough to drive. He's trying to learn Poison Powder. Hmm. I don't want you using no Poison Powder. Yes, Bulbasaur did not learn Poison Powder. Bulbasaur is trying to learn Sleep Powder. Four moves. Ooh, are we going to sleep powder? Yes! Actually, we are going to learn sleep powder. Growl, you gotta go. One, two, and... Poof! Bulbasaur, forgot. Growl. Bulbasaur learned sleep powder, which will be very helpful in the long run, I think. Let's see, last Robin. That's it! Ugh. Yeah, these lasses, let me tell you. They are something else. All right, now we're gonna, just gonna run through here, up to Route 4, and heal up. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever you say, Nurse Joy. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Yep, and yeah. And as you can see, there's Mount Moon right there, but uh, we're not going to be heading into Mount Moon today. That's going to wait till next episode. So, yep, this would be a good place to stop. Anyways, I'm Wyatt Olinger, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.